What's up, Ride Warriors? We are here at Cedar Point to check out the 2017 Ride Warrior Club Holiday Party. We're headed into the park to see what's going on here during the off season. We've got some big things to show you, so let's head on back to the first stop on the trip. We found out at the end of this season that the famed Oceana Stadium that once held dolphins and divers and all wheels extreme was being demolished completely. As you can see here, the Oceana Stadium is pretty much completely gone and completely reduced to a pile of rubble. Now, as you can see, this opens up a ton of land for Cedar Point. And you can even imagine if they start moving around some other pieces here, maybe some other rides, you could open up an even bigger plot of land. And that could mean something big here in the future. They wouldn't tell us what's happening back here, but we can assume that Cedar Point has some pretty big plans for this area. We also got a look at this area that's being transformed into a new boardwalk that will connect the front of the park to the Windseeker entrance. Now they told us that right now there isn't a whole lot of plans to be anything other than just a walkway to open up more views of the beach, uh, but who knows in the future, maybe we'll see more of a traditional boardwalk, maybe we won't, maybe it will always just be an entrance, but this will definitely be a huge advantage to those people wanting to get back to the back of the park from the front parking lot. Oh, no. 
Next up on the tour was a construction tour of Steel Vengeance. Now, the last time we came here on a Ride Warrior Club tour, uh, Steel Vengeance was still being built, track was still being laid. Now it is completely done from a track perspective. All the track has been laid, all the supports have been uh, put up. Um, and as you can see, this is a much more completed ride right now. And man, does it look absolutely outstanding. I can't wait till May to find out how this thing actually rides. Another piece that we didn't quite know was going to happen was at the end of the Steel Vengeance Tour, we finally got a first look at the new entrance plaza. Uh, I think this one even took our guides by surprise. They didn't even know this had been done yet. As you can see, there is a lot of rock work being done here, uh, presumably for a huge entrance sign here for Steel Vengeance. Uh, I think everyone really expects this one to be a pretty big ride, and this ride entrance sign is going to match that very well. Also on the tour, we got the opportunity to walk underneath Millennium Force and got to walk all the way up into the very first drop. Poor Wildcat. The coolest part about being able to walk underneath Millennium Force was the ability to look straight up into those lattices of supports. Uh, you know, looking straight up and seeing all the beams and seeing the track was just an out of this world experience that I've never been able to do before and was made this whole tour uh, totally worth it. It's just an amazing experience to see how cool it was to walk underneath Millennium Force and look straight up. Oh, out of this world.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up from the 2017 Ride Warrior Club Holiday Party. Thanks for joining us here on CoasterNet. And as always, ride on, Ride Warriors.